revealing the scandalous secrets of Diddy's personal life. There's been many cats out of the bag in the music industry, from younger stars to the early 20s show turners. Sean Diddy Combs holds the turn on the controversial topic of the moment. A video from a surveillance camera in 2016 retrieved by CNN shows Sean Diddy physically assaulting his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura. It was an abuse that involved him grabbing, shoving, dragging, and kicking her during an argument that matches the allegations in the lawsuit Ventura filed in November 2023, which got settled rather quickly. The video is a compilation of many videos shot from different angles and clearly shows the singer and rapper in the business of hitting a woman. Combs, with a towel around his waist, walks down the hall to an existing Ventura where he grabs her neck and throws her to the floor. A video that could break your heart from watching that woman went through a lot and kept it together for many years, gotta give her respect. That's not all, he was seen kicking her multiple times in the video while she lay motionless on the ground and as if that wasn't enough he drags by her sweatshirt towards a room before walking away the video has just proved the predatory behavior of the superstar in her legal action ventura previously associated with combs record company alleged that he abused his authority and control over her both professionally and personally the lawsuit outlined that ventura was 19 years old when she encountered combs who was 37 at the time and their collaboration ended in 2019 but really a 37 year old with a 19 year old it also accused combs of physical aggression towards ventura and compelled her to participate in sexual activities with others combs lawyer ben braffman issued a statement to CNN upon the filing of the lawsuit, asserting that Mr. Combs vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations. The dispute was settled the next day. Braffman clarified to CNN that settling the case did not imply guilt, stating a decision to settle a lawsuit, especially in 2023, is in no way an admission of wrongdoing, Braffman told CNN in a statement at the time. Mr. Combs' decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way undermine his flat-out denial of the claims. He is happy they got to a mutual settlement and wishes Ms. Ventura the best. The specifics of the settlement terms were kept confidential. Since November 2023, Sean Combs has been confronted with five additional civil lawsuits alleging a variety of sexual misconduct and illicit activities. Despite denying these charges, the cases are still pending. In March of 2024, authorities conducted searches at Combs residences in California and Florida as part of a federal probe led by a Department of Homeland Security unit specializing in human trafficking cases. This investigation is linked to several of the same sexual assault claims raised in the civil lawsuits. Combs attorney Aaron Dyer criticized the searches as an excessive use of force and characterized the situation as a politically motivated witch hunt based on unfounded accusations from the lawsuits. He emphasized that no criminal or civil liability has been established regarding these allegations, asserting Combs' innocence and his commitment to defending himself against these claims. Sean Diddy Combs has been involved in many high-profile relationships throughout his career, and he seems to not be slowing down. Dana Tran recently made the list, although not officially confirmed, Combs and Dana Tran, a cybersecurity professional and model, welcomed a daughter named Love in October 2022, who is now Sean's youngest child, before Dana Tran was Lori Harvey. Rumors circulated in July 2019 about Combs dating Lori Harvey, which continued until around October when they seemed to have split. Harvey denied dating both Combs and his son Justin in early 2023, but not all rumors don't lie. Combs dated Lopez from 1999 to 2001. With their relationship ending due to his infidelity, their relationship was before the media. They remained friends after the breakup. Sarah Chapman was not a romantic partner to Combs, but the businesswoman had a child together named Chance for Combs. They maintained a friendship despite the circumstances of their child's birth. Young Miami Caracia Brownlee and Combs publicly dated in 2022, though they described their relationship as non-monogamous. What a word. Miracle Watson Combs dated and their relationship somewhat confirmed through social media interactions, even though they didn't outrightly confirm it. Combs also had an impactful relationship with Kim Porter from 1994 to 2007, with whom he had three children. Their relationship was full of periods of reconciliation, which eventually led to a separation beyond the recent sexual assault allegations and the video showing Combs assaulting Ventura. Sean Diddy Combs has also been involved in other legal issues like in 2007 when Gerard Rickner sued Combs for battery alleging an assault outside a Hollywood nightclub. Their case was later settled in 2008. Additionally, Combs was involved in a high-profile incident in 1999, where he was charged with criminal possession of a weapon and possession of stolen property after a shooting at Club New York. He was later acquitted, but his associate, Shine, received a 10-year prison sentence. Combs has been involved in notable personal feuds within the industry, such as his rivalry with 50 Cent, which has escalated into public disputes and media scrutiny. 50 Cent has also made some snide remarks after the recent video released by CNN. Combs has been previously implicated in some violent episodes, including an incident where Cassie Ventura was photographed with visible injuries shortly after an alleged attack by Combs. 
Another case that involved Combs was when he assaulted Steve Stout, the then president of Interscope Records, with a chair, telephone, and champagne bottle in 1999, leading to a plea deal for harassment instead of assault charges. These scandals have impacted greatly on how Sean's public image is viewed by many fans making his career a very tumultuous one. 